do I care? Well, hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Crafty Company bringing you more of A Wolf Among Us, episode 3, Crooked Mile. We've come to see if um, Holly has got any of Lily's stuff that we can search through to try and find out the um, location of this witch that Crane's meeting tonight. So let's, uh, let's try knocking on the door. We're closed. I know. We want to come in. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> and he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. <laughs> There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Ren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. Just one drink shouldn't hurt. It's only a little glass. To the dead. All right, now help me. Catch you. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What this news? fucking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Uh, trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. 
It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He oh, can think whatever what? he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. <laughs> wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> what a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Go ahead and won't remember this. <laughs> Poor Holly. We'll try and be quiet. Uh, cut Holly. No, no, no. There's got to be something else around it. There isn't. Fuck. Let's just look at the cop. Oh, so she's got her stuff there. Bollocks. So how do we do this without waking her up? Do we tickle her nose? Examine crate of alcohol. Ah, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Grab box. I guess. Okay, right. So what have we got here? Bottle of... That's the wine that we found in the room, isn't it? Same type? Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Darling, we can carry on pretending that we're the bloody woodsman. Look in the background. One of the Tweedles. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. 
right this is what we need I think oh look we've got the clamor tube here pocket that mate I'm gonna have to talk to her after every oh no, that's good not too interested in the brooch but this could be good Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. That's the best we could have done there. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Which, Which one? one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Have they not heard of a fucking computer? It should take minutes to run those records. <laughs> it's all like books and shit. It is the future, you know. We have computers. Think about Crane's apartment. Oh shit, time's running out. Bluebeard burned everything. <laughs> he burned everything? Why would he burn? Shit. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't <laughs> listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? He's trying to hide some tracks. We'll check this fireplace out in the next part, guys. Do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember to hit the old like button. And I'll catch you beauties to the next part of A Wolf Among Us. This has been the Crafty Cock in the Knee. And later. <laughs>